Hey everyone, Frank Lunatic here, and I'm going to do a rant review. Again! That's my new thing. Yeah! And I'm going to be doing a review about a place that I actually haven't seen one of these or been to one of these since, like, college. And uh, I think before that I used to go with my grandmother a lot. The, if any of you guys are from the Bronx, the Parkchester section of the Bronx. Uh, Roy Rogers. I didn't even know that they were even still in business. And I happen to be uh, driving through from New Jersey into New York today. And not done, excuse me, from New Jersey back into Pennsylvania. And uh, on Interstate 84, they recently opened a um, Roy Rogers in the Matamoros area. And uh, see, Roy Rogers. And I'm actually going to give him a big thumbs up about one thing. I was uh, checking out there, and I happen to have one of my fire company shirts on. And uh, I actually had no intention of this whatsoever. They automatically gave me a discount. Their policy, <laughs> you're a firefighter, you get a discount on your food. And he actually gave me a free soda, too, which was funny. I never asked for that. Um... And I thought it was actually funny, really amazing, because I'm not even a firefighter in this area. And he was saying, oh, you know, they, they respect our, their firefighters and, that and what they do. Why can't we get that type of respect in Wayne County? I don't understand that. That's the rant part right there. Hamlin and Lake Ariel area. Businesses don't give us that type of respect. But we'll give people who own homes or second homes in developments like the hideout, discounts at area businesses because of, I guess, who they are. But yet firefighters, Wayne County, we don't get shit. We, we, can't get, we don't get discounts or anything. That, that's unheard of. But yet over here in Pike, I guess this is Pike County, uh, in the Matamoros area, they'll give discounts to firefighters. I didn't even ask for anything like that. They just happened to see the logo. And automatically gave me one. And I actually questioned it. And he said, no, you know, we do it for our firefighters. So I thought that was pretty amazing. Big thumbs up right off the bat there. Gee, maybe businesses in Wayne County should listen up. You know, because of all the stuff we do to help our community for free. But that's a totally different rant. Now I do admit Roy Rogers can be a little costly. I mean, again, I haven't been there and one in 30 years. Um, I got a roast beef sandwich, which, um, actually it's pretty full. I mean, I don't think it's as big as Arby's, but I couldn't put, they had the fixing bar. They still do that where you put all your own stuff on. You want salsa, you want pickles, you want onions, you want hot peppers, things like that. I got some pickles on the side because I want to put them on my sandwich. Look at that. Ah, pickles are always good. Whoever heard of a bad pickle? Okay, I know people who are bad pickles, but anyway, um, I mix my sauces up too. I tried their boom boom sauce, which is a hot spicy sauce, and their barbecue and their uh, their uh, what do you call that? Their horsey sauce, their version of it. Okay, I definitely have to say, damn, that's good. I mean, there's a lot of roast beef in there. They fill it up really good. Uh, tastes really damn good. I, I don't know, maybe a little better than Arby's, actually. They, I, I do like their barbecue sauce and their boom, 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 boom sauce. It is uh, pretty damn good as well. And I also got mashed potatoes and gravy, and they actually give you this thing of gravy for the side. And let's see here. Ooh, the gravy actually is good. Ooh. Might actually a little, be a little better than KFC's gravy. Let's see how the mashed potatoes are. All right, let's see. And yes, I'm eating this in my car. I do everything in my car. And hell, Wednesday, I just almost slept in the car. Um, <laughs> mashed potatoes. All righty. Do I want to put the gravy on the mashed Well, you know what? Let's see how the mashed potatoes actually taste first without the gravy. 
Oh, that's a fork. I don't need a fork for that. Any spoon. They got a spoon. In yes, they have a spoon in there. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, they're pretty good, too. Oh, let's pour a little gravy in. What do you think? Whoops. Let's pour some in. Ooh. I'm actually one of those people that I, I'll even put ketchup on mashed potatoes. And uh, people in the family are like, ew. And I'm like, take some French fries. When you were a kid, take some French fries. Mash them up with your fingers. What do you got? Smash freaking potatoes, basically. All right, let's see how we are with the gravy and the mashed potatoes. Oh, hmm. Ooh, definitely a thumbs up on that one. We do have one more thing left, too. Oh, what I also like, too, they have Mr. Pip, which is um, a version of the way Dr. Pepper would be. A little bit better, actually, than Dr. Pepper again. Um, you don't find it in the Scran area at all. Not at all. Even Dr. Pepper's can be hard to find. Um, always wind up having to go out of the area to find Mr. Pip. Yes, mashed potatoes and gravy. Definitely a thumbs up on Roy Rogers on that one. It, there's actually a little bit of a kick to their gravy, which, which like a peppery type of kick, which makes them taste even better. And for the last part, baked apples. Let's see how this thing tastes. Baked apples. Um. Ah! If I can get it off there. All righty. Let's see how these wonderful baked apples are. That's good, too. So it reminds me of the apple pie type of topping that they put on, warm apple pie topping that they put on ice cream, actually. That's actually really good. I mean, not bad. They were, I think they were like two bucks or something. That's actually not bad. So all in all, I mean, they can be a little bit costly. I mean, well, it depends. As my kids bring out, I think everything's expensive. Like the roast beef sandwich was like, say, six bucks. The apples were like two the mash was a little high. That was a large mash. That was like three seventy-five. dollars um, But all in all, I mean, don't get me wrong, tastes good. I mean, uh, wish we'd get one of them in Wayne County and Hamlin. But of course, you know, we have uh, the families that have been in charge of everything for years and own all the big pieces of land and they won't sell to anybody. Well, they'd rather pay taxes on land then have it developed, sell it and develop it. Or, you know, even if we can get one like up in Honesdale even or something. You know, another bit of a choice. Being that all we have is like a McDonald's or 10 miles away, a Burger King. Or 15 miles away, you know, an actual real Taco Bell. It's like nothing in the area. But anyway. Oh no, not bad. I mean, you know, again, a little pricey. But, you know, as a... Once in a while type of thing, not a it would be a great little choice to have in the area. So Roy Rogers. Woo. Roy Rogers. Check him out. If you ever have a chance to. And I'm Frank the Lunatic, and that's all I gotta say about that. Birthday card, birthday card, birthday card, birthday card, birthday card, I get birthday cake.